I'll show you how to use the multi chart layouts on TradingView. So firstly, go to your TradingView and get a chart up that you want to look at. So top left, choose the asset that you want to look at here. Now we want a multi chart view. So we go up to the top and click this icon. And then you can choose how many charts you want to look at two, three, four, five, and so on. And then the way that they're displayed in a grid. Now I believe that multi chart view is part of the paid version of TradingView. I'll leave a link below to a discount if you're signing up for the paid version. Um, so you can use that if you want. And then you get the multi chart view, maybe one and two are part of the free version, you'll have to check, uh, they change it around sometimes. Uh, I've got the paid version. So I, I'll show you a two chart layout side by side. So I'll click this one. And then you get the two charts right here. Now if you left click on one of the charts, you get the white border that shows that you're manipulating that chart specifically. So I'll left click here, left click on the right hand side, you can see the border changes. Now up here, you can choose the asset that you're viewing in this particular chart. So up at the top, I've got the S&P 500. If I click this, uh, you can see I can choose anything here, right? So I'll just choose the S&P 500 again. And if you want to go into the settings of the chart, you can do so settings down here. And then you can choose a different layout for that chart specifically if you want or different colors or anything else. You can either uh, choose the scales and lines or you know the canvas that you're on, you can change all of that specifically for this chart. Also, if you want to change this chart time horizon, or you want to look at a line chart instead of, uh, you know, candlesticks, make sure that this chart is spe uh, specifically uh, chosen. So it's got a white border around it, go up to the top here. And now you can change this. So I can go to a line chart if I want, it just changes this one. And then I can change this back uh, to candlesticks if I want. You can also change the time horizon for this chart specifically, as long as it is selected. So I'm going to go to a day chart here. And you can see I changed the day chart, but this one didn't move. And that's because these two charts aren't connected yet. You can connect them specifically if you want as well later, but you can manipulate each of them individually and not connect them at all. And as long as one is selected, you can change alerts, uh, replays that you usually use, right? Indicators for that. You can use that for this chart specifically. So if we go back to the weekly here, they're not linked. And so this one changes. You can also right click, reset chart view. This one isn't linked. And so it won't do anything until it's linked to the other chart. The first thing that we can do is link the crosshair across both charts. So for right now, you can see I've got my crosshair on the right hand side. And what I want to know is when the S&P had a few weeks period of actually going down, so it dropped 7%, what exactly happened to Bitcoin during that time? Well, I don't really know because I can see the date here is let's say, uh, you know, July or something. When exactly was that? I don't know. So what we can do is go up to the icon again. And down here, it says crosshair, just toggle that on. And now the crosshair is linked between both charts. So now what I can do is know that during this four or five week period, where uh, the S&P dropped you know, around 7% or so, I know exactly what happened to Bitcoin during that period as well, as you can see. So Bitcoin, well, it did drop, but it stayed within its range. So definitely a less volatile drop than the S&P actually during that time. Now we can see here when the S&P dropped uh, significantly here as well, what happened to Bitcoin, you did see a drop in BTC as well. And when the S&P started to recover, so did Bitcoin. So you can see with the crosshairs linked exactly the correlation and what happens between the two uh, very easily with crosshair linked. Another thing we can do is link the time horizon of each of the charts. So what this means if you toggle it on, so click again down at time here, this means that if you are looking at a specific period in time of one of the charts, when they're linked, all of the charts will also display that period in time. So what we'll see here is that they're unlinked. What I want to do with BTC is look at this specific time horizon, which is, let's say 22 to 24 in terms of the years, right? And as I unclicked there, that is what the S&P did during the exact same time horizon of Bitcoin. So as Bitcoin came into a massive bear market, you have this maybe slight drawdown in the S&P, but the S&P kind of carried on and uh, basically was positive throughout that whole time where Bitcoin actually lost value. If we go again to maybe this, again, I just click off and the S&P should also change, right? So what happened to Bitcoin? It outperformed, it went kind of straight up and the S&P did as well, but uh, to a far less extent, but both are correlated in terms of their move to the upside. So whichever time horizon and date horizon that you want to look at, all of the charts uh, will correlate if you have this time toggle toggled on. Another option to choose is if we want to link or unlink the time intervals on the charts. That is when we choose the length of the candlesticks that we're looking at. So right now I'm on the weekly chart here, each of these candlesticks is a week in length. If we want to link these go back up to the top, you can see interval here, click this. And now any changes we make will be reflected in the other chart. So I'm on the weekly now, I'm going to change to monthly. And you can see that the S&P now changes to the monthly. So both are linked. This is great if you're looking at different assets. But if you're looking at the same asset, you may want to look at different time horizons for the same asset. So you need to unlink this. And then from here, we've got Bitcoin on the monthly. 
This one, I want to look at Bitcoin again. So we'll search for Bitcoin. And what we want to do is actually go to the daily chart now, like this. And so what we're seeing is daily charts versus monthly charts. So what we're seeing on the daily is that we are getting a small pullback from this price. But if you look at the monthly chart again, you're seeing that really we're in an uptrend for the months, right? So three green candlesticks right now. So a pullback within a further uptrend. You can just you know get either different time scales if you want, if you're looking at different time horizons for the same asset. That's good for day trading if you're looking at larger trends versus uh, actually getting entries right here. If you're looking at different assets, you may want to link the time horizons. I'll leave my full trading view guide down in the description if you need it, plus the links to trading view and some of the exchanges I use to get some discounts and bonuses. I'm James, this is Manny Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.